Like you're not yeah. just gonna get randomly bit by a snake. Like it just doesn't happen. That's not how it you works. You look like a snake. Yeah. Uh, I, I mean, in Australia land, it does. I mean, sort of. Yeah. I mean, that, that's one of those things where you can go to the bathroom and get bit on the taint. Ugh. Yeah. So I mean, I completely. Yeah. No. In 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 there, it completely happens. Did you see? Shit. I need to get these volume levels right again. They're a little fucked up. A little bit high. But, I mean, I can always limit them, so it's not really too important. There was this video I saw not that long ago of this Aussie, like, general construction worker. Apparently, yeah. that's what everybody is over there. Oh, they're all just general construction workers. <laughs> yeah. So, the dude, I don't remember if he said he fell asleep or he was working on something. Right. And a snake crawled up his fucking pants. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Like, uh, uh, it was a young fucking fuck-off poisonous snake. Because, of course, it was. Well, yeah, so I mean, the, that's pretty much all that exists in Australia, though. Yeah. So, like, unlike 99% of anyone who doesn't live in Australia. Really, Mom? Now you're going to be calling me? <laughs> Fuck off. My boy. But uh, unlike 99% of the population that doesn't live in Australia, yeah. this dude's like calm as fuck, videotaping it like, I just had this, then crawl up this. I can't do an Australian accent. Crawl up there. He's like, I'm going to try and get it out. See? So he just fucking grabs the tail of the snake. He's like, all right, one. He counts down, fucking yanks it out and runs away. <laughs> I was like, that's the most badass thing I've ever seen. That is the most insane thing of it. I would not try to, like, like, if there's a snake that could potentially murder me. Yeah, but like, I mean, it, you know, it's up in right around your dick. Right around the uh, twig and berries. You know what? Just kill me. Mm -hmm. It's fine. I'm I'm okay. You know, it's fine. You can just kill me. I'll I'll, I'll live. <laughs> Pretty much. Just shoot the snake. But it's just right around. Just shoot it. <laughs> shoot it. I don't care. <laughs> if you hit me, then just shoot me again. It's fine. Don't worry about it. I'll live. Or won't. Whatever. It doesn't fucking matter. <laughs> or I won't care to. <laughs> That's the point. <laughs> So how's everybody doing today? We're the Ungodly Geeks. I'm Luke. I'm Joe. We're going to sit here today and, uh, you know, do a little, smoke a little tobacco and yep. talk about Infinity War. Some hookah. So, yeah. So, just uh, to put it out there, obviously we're going to talk spoilers, um, you know, in, in a minute or two. But before that, I figure we'll just uh, give our opinion on the movie. Uh, just a quick rundown. So, this is probably my favorite Marvel movie ever. This movie was fucking phenomenal, in my opinion. Yeah, no, I mean, there was a lot of, of great shit happening. There's a lot of high-energy high, high energy shit. Um, great it, fucking villain, great story. Great, yeah, you know, the one thing that... There's a couple things that did bother me about the movie, but overall, I loved it. I loved the experience. I'm definitely going to have to go see it again. Um, but I, I think one of the things that bothered me the most about the movie was just how human they made Thanos. Yeah, it it's <clears throat> both bothers and is awesome because it made him such an amazing character. Um, when you go in and see this movie, like Thanos is the star of this movie. Yeah, no, he totally is. And like, like I said, I mean... They, they make him human. Yeah. Like, they make him relatable. Oh, yeah. And I, I hate it. He fully believes in what he's doing. Yeah, no, I mean, he... he, <clears throat> he And he has such a conviction in it that you can't help but be like... You understand right. it. Yeah, like, you completely do. And he's just being an agent of neutrality, I'd say. Like, he's not necessarily doing it out of evil. He's not necessarily doing it out of good, either. No, it's, it's, like, it's obviously not good, but it's very similar to things that we've had in our history. Yeah. That um, are obviously horrible, horrific things, but in his mind, he's rationalized that this will stop even worse things from happening. Right. That this is the only way to keep balance. Um, and it's really interesting. It's I was talking to a friend of mine where we were kind of going back and forth um, between this and Black Panther and how he mentioned how much Black Panther meant to him 
uh, with Killmonger being such a relatable, like a villain, um, you know, yeah, to, like, like very he, similar to he, Thanos. In I, I, I could relate to Killmonger myself. Like, yeah. I mean, obviously, I'm not, I'm not black, but I could still relate yeah. to him. I, I relate to. Oh, I understood he, everything yeah. he was everywhere we was come from. It's like, yeah, no, I, I, I this. He, I mean, yeah, it's you, hard. To, you can't. It's you can disagree with either one of them or, or both of them because they're about to do some horrible shit. But it's hard to say. You know they're you're fucking completely wrong. You're doing this for evil. They're they're not uh, oh, ultimately no, not at all. Um, it's why I, I like both the villains, um, and I mean that's it's what made those these two villains so great is just the the amount of character and development they have there, their whole plan and everything. It's just. Thanos was just fucking odd point. Yeah, I mean Josh Brolin did a great job. Oh god, yeah. I, th- I was voice, worried. Like, and sh- yeah, no, it was it was good. Like like his face, the motion capture on his face, his yeah, voice. No. Everything was was totally believable about it. Like there, there wasn't. I wasn't sitting there looking at the screen thinking I'm looking at like a CGI character. No, you, you know? believe. You, like, yeah, you really believe do. the you Thanos him is and there, like, and it's like this is a big imposing motherfucker. Yeah, and he was too. Oh my god, Thanos is fucking badass. He was so. Oh, he beat the shit out of Hulk in the beginning. Yeah, he beat the shit out of Hulk so bad Hulk bitched out for the rest yeah. of the movie. Uh, if if you w- go into this. The, wanting to see a lot of Hulk. This is actually my one of my problems with it, and I won't go into super big details yet, but I will in a minute. But uh, yeah, Hulk doesn't do dick in this movie. He's not in it very much. Hulk, uh, Hulk is Hulk's in the opening. He gets yeah. beat up, and he's just he, he literally he acts like a bitch the rest of the movie. Yeah, he's pretty much out the rest of the movie, completely out. Uh, I mean, other than that, like I there's there's like minor things, but. Uh, no man, I just I fucking love that movie. <clears throat> I I gotta say I did not expect <coughs> like I knew we were, and we all right. So it's Infinity War. It's yeah. a big event. Lots of people die. So I'm totally on board with that. I totally understand. Or you that. think maybe this is Marvel? <clears throat> so you like expecting maybe like one or two? And by the way, we're totally going into spoiler type stuff now. I'm assuming. I yeah. I mean, if you okay, <laughs> if you go into this movie, uh, it does go dark, and it's not it's it, it's not dark just for the sake of being dark um it makes sense and it has an emotional impact very and very it, much so it, it and it's another thing that makes this movie so great is just the way it progressed and the emotion that the movie you know portrays the character development the stuff that happens is like oh my god <laughs> like um when we went we went to a 7 p.m showing uh like the second a little bit later than the yeah it was the very showing. second showing it was yeah. 7 40 so oh so yeah 7 40 and people in that theater, it, it was awesome because everyone oh, yeah. was fucking into it. Um, people were like cheering when certain characters show up on screen. Oh yeah, yeah, like, like you know, obviously when the first Chitala time pops oh, up, yeah. uh, when fucking Cap pops up, first time like, Cap shows yeah. up, everyone's like, yeah. It was like, uh, it was the, like if you can, this is a movie I'd say go see with a group. Oh um, for sure. One yeah, motherfucker no. had his cell phone out like at the very beginning, but. Motherfucker put it away pretty quick. And yeah. then after that, I didn't have any problems with uh, the people. It was just, it was actually, it made the movie really fun. Because I was sitting there, and you know, all of these people are a bunch of fucking movie, like Marvel movie nerds, comic book nerds. They were just, they're there for this experience. And what an experience it was, man, yeah. for sure. I mean, the movie, like like we've said, it was just, it was a good ride from beginning to end. There's no slow points in this movie at all. Yeah, no, seriously, it was. It, that's another thing that was really great, and I, it's something that you can kind of nitpick: is the pacing is almost too fast because In they've way, got a yeah. lot to get through. That's, they, that's the thing; they're, they're like, jumping from place to place. Yeah, see, that, 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 that's kind of the problem. I, and I was sitting there wondering, like, how are you going to solve this problem? Because there, like you said, there's yeah. tons, tons of stories to go through. You've got so many characters to to go through, and thankfully they're all established, so you don't need any backstory on them. Except, yeah. of course, Thanos. Thanos is the one who got the backstory. Thanos is the one with the backstory. He's the one with the character development, and it was just so good. Um, yeah, and they didn't. They did a pretty, like a, a really good job of doing all those different characters too. I gotta say, much much better than I expected. Yeah, no, I, I, honestly, I expected it to be a, a bit of a mess. That yeah. was just fun to watch. Um, better than Justice League by far. Justice League was a bit, oh my God. was a mess it's, that was just fun to watch. Level. But you know, I I I 
I didn't go in with very high expectations, not because yeah. it's a Marvel movie I expect good, but because of what we were about to experience, what we oh, were about yeah. to see. Because, I mean, you got all the Avengers you got to cover. You got the Guardians. So, like, right there, there's, like, 15 characters. Yep. And it's like, okay, what? Are, how are they going to handle that? How are they going to make sure that they're getting that that coverage? And they do it really well. The transitions are great. There's there's no moment where I thought, why are we here now? Yeah, oh yeah. Because it made sense as to where the next progression was. Um, one really cool thing I, is uh, pretty early on, they start they split people up and they mix them up, which was so fucking good. <laughs> oh yeah. The way they they split these teams up, certain people go with other people. I'll just say off the bat, Thor, Rocket, and Groot go to do some shit. And I just absolutely love those characters together. Yeah, no, I mean they 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 meshed much better than you would have thought they would have. Oh yeah, like like it, it was just it was just fun. I my favorite one of my favorite comedic parts is how Thor kept calling Rocket Raccoon Rabbit. Rabbit. Oh man, the comedy in this movie is good. Oh this yeah, this movie was fucking funny. It, it it's uh, really good without being over the top. Yeah, well, it's the it's character comedy too. That's the thing is these characters have established. You know, the way they interact with each other, the way they, you know, deliver right, right, one-liners right. every once in a while. So when fucking Rocket's doing some shit about stealing somebody's arm or leg or eye or some shit, it's it's like, it's it's always funny. It's always going to be funny. Oh, yeah, because it's great. Yeah. Um, oh, I had a point to make, and I completely forgot <laughs> it. <laughs> Which, I mean, that happens all the time, yeah. so whatever, you know. Yeah, um, just, like, two characters that aren't in here, everyone kept talking about Hawkeye. Hawkeye, 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 in the uh, before the movie came out because he's not in the trailer or anything. He's not even in the fuck movie. They mentioned him. They mentioned yeah. him in passing. Apparently, him and Ant Man are on house arrest. They're on house arrest. It's yeah. took a plea deal. <laughs> like, yeah. Oh, okay. Which cool. we knew Ant Man was from the Ant Man and the Wasp trailers. Right. Right. Which uh, we we'll talk about. That's something we'll talk about. Like at the end, uh, do like what we think Marvel Universe is going to be going forward. But, it's going to uh, be dark and bleak. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be fun. Um, and that's the most important part, yeah. that it's fun. Yeah, it's I think, uh, oh, yeah, it's fun. Oh, my God, it was fun. It was so the much fightings, fun. The fights were great. Um, Nothing felt overdone. I can definitely tell you that. I will say, and it's, I don't, I don't think it was such a bad thing. There are certain times where I wanted to see characters be badasses and just beat the shit out of somebody, and this movie's not that type of Avengers movie. Um, they are like on the ropes in just about every fight. Nobody is totally beating the shit out of anybody. Like they triple team some of Thanos' children and are still kind of, not, I wouldn't say completely struggling, but they're they're, uh, they're, 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 they're like backstabbing and doing like they're dirty like a, fighting tricks. They're a step above hanging on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, they like, were doing some dirty shit. But it was it made sense. It was cool to me. I, I totally. Oh get yeah, it. no. I mean, at that point, like, what the what do you do against oh, yeah. something like that? You got it. You got to go full board. There is no fighting fair with Thanos' yeah. children or Thanos himself. Come no, on, at man. this point, it's it's all fucking. Uh... Speaking of which, man, any fight that involved Thanos was fucking phenomenal. Oh man, he's so daunting. Like you said, the Thor or the Hulk fight in the beginning. Now. I wish the Hulk had had some kind of redemption. No, I dislike the fact that the Hulk kind of just was gone. But he goes up to Thanos, and they start going at it. And Thanos goes into like a boxer kind of pose. Oh yeah, like, and just starts like one to the, the one to the stomach, pop pop right in the chest, like two to the chin. And Hulk's like, "Uh, I'm just smash." Yeah, he and doesn't know. Just, he doesn't know what to do, and that that oh, he got that, fucking that right there is like that. That shows you what skill versus strength can. Oh do. yeah, yeah. You Someone know. like Thanos, who at that time also had the power of one Infinity Gem. Yeah, yeah. Which he means had, um, he's uh, all, he what, had, did he, what did he already uh, have at that time? The blue one. He had the no, 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 no. He oh, took no, he, the, he, he took the Tesseract from had, Loki and then um, killed Loki. There's a spoiler for you. He killed Loki. Well, yeah. We're gonna do spoilers from now on anyway. Fuck it. Yep. Um, but uh. If you didn't know Loki was gonna die, come on. He's, I mean, he's seriously. so fucking gonna die. It, he, I, there are there's a character that dies straight up right after or right before that that I was like, <gasps> they killed Heimdall, guys. Fuck. They, they fucking killed, killed Heimdall. Heimdall. How are you gonna fucking do that? How can you kill Heimdall? You killed Idris Elba. You fucks. I know somebody was watching that over at fucking uh, DC, and right now they're already get him. Right now, get him a fucking green ring. 
They might get as it, well get it. They might call as well him. Call it. his agent. Call everyone. They call should. his mom. Yeah. You know? Get him. Get him a green ring. There's our uh, John Stewart. I but mean, anyway, dude, there, there's no other. There's no. There's no oh, one else I could so see perfect. being John Stewart. He's Seriously, so he he is absolutely the so, yeah. shit. Yeah. He is top tier. I really, I, I hope he does. I'm, I'm sad that it happened like this. Heimdall goes out like a fucking warrior, though. Oh like, fuck yeah, he does. They, they, if you had any doubts, they fucking decimate the, um, uh, Asgardians. No, they, they don't decimate fucking... the Asgardians. They kill the Asgardians. Well, yeah, okay, yeah. I mean, they they are dead. I, <laughs> Thor know, is the only one left. On, if there were only 100 left, then 10% of them survived in just Thor. <laughs> that still wouldn't be decimating. I thought decimated was Decimate means 10. to reduce by 10. Oh, by 10%. Well, never mind. Yeah, no. I thought it was the opposite. New. Yeah, no, they, they're pr- pretty much just Thor is left. Uh, I think somebody said something about – so I thought one of them said something about killing half – but I don't see how they would have survived unless Thanos also rescued them. No, by putting no, them no. On I his mean, ship. they blew that ship they blew up. The, yeah, they blew, they the blew the ship, ship, up, ship up. up. That's why Heimdall and Loki, I, I believe them to be 100% gone now. Yeah, I don't uh, – only if they pull some serious bullshit will Loki come back. This time, even Thor says, uh, I, don't I don't think, think he's coming, coming back, back this time. time. Yeah. He, Which, says that's a, he says it's a rabbit. <laughs> yeah, speaking of Thor, his – he didn't – he wasn't a, as much as – Thanos, but I think uh, he got about the second most um, much development screen time. I mean, yeah, he definitely had he definitely had quite a bit. Uh, yeah, obviously there was the beginning, and then all the interactions he had with Guardians. Yeah, him and Rack- Rocket and Groot going off to meet Peter Dinklage to do the Forge. Yeah, which I <laughs> Peter Dinklage in this movie when he shows up and you're like, is that Peter Dinklage? That's Peter Dinklage. He's playing a dwarf. He's playing a dwarf. dwarf. He's playing a dwarf that's like 19 feet tall. That was no, so literally. Awesome. He's he's he is at least twice as tall as Thor. <laughs> he shows he's up giant. and it's like, oh my god, yes. But he can be in. I, it was great. Um, but you know what? He deserves to be a giant. Yeah. That depressing <clears throat> moment with Thor and Rocket, though. Yeah, no. Oh I mean, where, where 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 he's sitting there and talking about you know his family and shit. Like, well, yeah, he mentions you know. Well, Rocket's like, oh, so uh, your uh, your brother's dead. It's like, yeah. And so, what about your dad? Dead. What about your mom? At least you still got your mom. Right. Died and killed by an elf. Yep. Like, <laughs> and, and he's like, oh, so uh, are you sure you're ready for this? And, he, and Thor, I can't. I wish I could remember the exact line. Thor was. So, he said something. He along said like line. something like. Anger, um, vengeance, uh, something, anger, fury. Anger, vengeance, and... Uh, anger, and, fury, like, vengeance. Un- unimaginable sorrow unyielding, or great... Unyielding something. It was like sorrow <laughs> or something. And, like, our great motivators. Yeah. <laughs> and then he fucking has, like, a tear going down. And he's, like, seriously... Uh, you could almost say, like, PTSD. He's, like, really... F- I, he was fucking mad. Yeah, no, for sure. Which, um, I, I wish he had a bigger fight, too. Yeah. He was way OP. Oh, absolutely, man. Thor, Especially once he got that axe, Once dude. he gets his axe. Oh, my God. Thor was just a fucking beast. I wish there was a longer fight between, like, him and Thanos. Yeah, or if he had wish, showed up and beat the shit out of a few of the uh, Thanos' children. I wish he would. there would have just been a fight between him and Thanos. Because there yeah. really wasn't. Nah, there just was just him after Thanos axe. gets that last... Yeah, he gets the last Infinity Stone, fires his little beam of whatever, and... He just throws the fucking axe, cuts that right through so it, cool. right into right into Thanos' chest. And I was like, dude, that's Bonk. fucking awesome. And then flies down, grabs Thanos' shoulder, shoves it in deeper, and goes, I told you this was what was going to happen. I told you you were going to pay for that. Ah, oh, that was so badass. And then, of course, Thanos had the slightest upper hand. <sighs> Looks at him, and says, "You should have, you should have aimed, aimed for the head. Should have aimed for the head." And he snaps his fingers with the Infinity Gauntlet, and he wins. half of the population, that, yeah. which was his goal, half of the population of either that universe, either the universe or the Earth. I don't remember. No, which. it was universe. Yeah, all gone. Yeah, half the population of the universe. They that just, was. It just melted away, man. And they, that, uh, that 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 scene, that following scene, man. That, I don't even want to get into that yet. Oh my that god, was, that was just too much. There's so that much was. in this movie. I'm st- I'm still upset. I'm still oh, I upset. Know. Like I'm still in shock at what happened. Uh, I told a friend of mine when we were talking about this and Black Panther and everything. I was like, I have the same lasting, um, like I keep feeling like thinking about the movie, 
and the feelings I have about the movie and things the same way I did with The Last Jedi, except this is a positive. Yeah, Because yeah. the movie was so good and was so well done. The Last Jedi was yeah. such trash. It's, like I said, that the opposite. Like I said, I mean... One point I just want to make about about that before I move on is that I completely understand that we need to take Star Wars in a new direction, but why did you need to undo the first seven movies? Yeah, no, I'm that that's that's the only thing. Trash. Why would you not take what you already have built and take that into a new direction rather than do a thing where all of that just no longer matters now? Anyway, yeah. moving on because we got to talk about Infinity War and yeah, I could something that's positive, yeah, and worth seeing. Absolutely worth seeing, man. Yeah. Like I said, I'm totally gonna go see it again. I don't know when, but I'm gonna find some time and I'm gonna go to that theater and I'm just gonna fucking watch it. Yeah, they. Uh, I, I honestly, every the the way they like the very beginning when uh, Iron Man, Tony Stark, and he meets um, he meets Peter. Oh, you were talking about no, when no, you no. meet Strange. When, when you meet Doctor Strange. Strange. Yes, that oh, those God. guys together and then fucking. You um, throw in uh, Peter Star Star Lord? No, no, no. Even before that, I'm talking the first original, uh, the oh. first first fight where Thanos is um, fucking really annoying, magicy kid shows up. Oh, oh, the little the, uh, the yeah psychic or whatever the fuck he was. Um, Mark Ruffalo, he was there too. Yeah, Bruce Banner. Bruce Banner Bruce was there, Banner, and um, they're like and they're, the fight, Wong. Wong was there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, like, his banter back and forth. Because him and Strange, they're similar, but they're very different. Yeah. And they're both fucking I mean, they're both strong as hell. They're both arrogant oh, and, yeah. you know, cocksure and stuff. So yep. it's like, yeah, it makes sense that... Uh, and and they had the, they had their little banters and they their little one-liners. Heads. Yeah, I'd was, I was, I'd been waiting for that since, since Doctor Strange came out and we saw how that character was yeah, and how yeah. great Benedict Cumberbatch was. Cumberbatch. Cumber, Benadryl <laughs> cucumber patch. Yeah, yeah. It's that how great he was. I've been waiting for that scene. I've been waiting for this movie for fucking ten years, but uh, just you know, there's so many things that I've been like, oh, I want to see. Can, can, these we, can, we, can we see that? Can we? Yes. Want, yes. And we got it. We great. got everything. Infinity War is everything you could have wanted, and then more served on a solid gold platter. Yeah. Because I mean. You got so much out of it. And it leaves you not only just because of the feelings of, oh, my God, what are they going to do next? But it leaves you wanting more. Like, I want to see these characters together yeah. even more. Yeah. Uh, the yeah. Well, the ones that are fucking left. The ones that are left, <laughs> yeah. Like, you know. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to get that guy's arm. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that, that interaction between Rocket and Bucky. Rocket and Bucky, when they finally show, when uh, Rocket and uh, Groot and Thor finally get there. And fucking right. there being a, a a war site in Wakanda oh, yeah. where they're fighting off uh, Thanos. I mean, children. they've seen the movie by now. Well, maybe yeah. we're spoiling it, so or we they just well. don't care to see it. Um, yeah, maybe. But uh, when they show up to Wakanda and get in that fight, and fucking Rocket is <laughs> Bucky picks up Rocket and shooting with one arm while Bucky while Rocket's shooting while he's just spinning in a circle. Fuck, that was awesome. Rocket's like, how much for the gun? It's not for sale. How much for the arm? Just looks at <laughs> him just and walks away. Glares at him and walks away. I'm going to get that guy's arm. <laughs> <laughs> it was so good. Uh, I yeah. You know, most of the interactions that with between Rocket and him were, were fantastic, man. Oh yeah. Him um, and Thor telling fucking. He kept telling Thor that he's the captain, and because Star Lord, when Star Lord was fucking pissed. Oh my off, god. When he was trying to like, he was he's intimidated by Thor. So he tries to be intimidating. You're not a man. Back. You're a dude. <laughs> this is a man. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Drax, dude. Drax. Oh man, I'm Bati- Batista. Man hits it out of the park as fucking Drax. Man, I'd like to see him do some other stuff, but he, he's fucking great as Drax. Like that, that thing was that role is 100 percent his. Nobody can take that away from him. <laughs> I do kind of wish that um, he wasn't just a punchline, right? Because that was kind of like he, he he has great lines. Drax every time he fucking speaks is like ninety nine percent gonna be funny. Yes. Um, or just really fucking awkward, and that's funny too. But <laughs> he really didn't do a goddamn thing. I mean, he fought Thanos. He, he got beat. 
he was part of a group fighting Thanos, and that was really cool. I will give them their teamwork when yeah. they took when they almost won, when they almost got the gauntlet, and then fucking Peter Quill, Star Lord decided to fuck up. Well, that uh, yeah, oh yeah, that fight. I was I was actually thinking the first fight where after Thanos had the Reality Stone. Oh, we fucking that was awesome. That was dude. See? The stuff they did with yes. the Reality Stone, right? And the like, just the stones in general. They made them really, really fucking interesting. Oh, for sure. Except time. Time just has one moment, and it was predictable. But with the other stuff, oh, it was so cool. Yeah, I mean, like when he sat there, fucked with the Reality Stone, and, and uh, he turned Drax into just flesh blocks. You no, know, he turned them to uh, blocks of stone. No, he was still alive, though. Yeah, yeah. I mean, both. That's why I said flesh blocks. I mean, okay, and, fine. And but they turned... definitely hit, like, stone. They were, like, concrete. That could have just been Drax. Nah, they were concrete, because she was turned into fucking paper. She was turned into, yeah, she was turned ribbons. into flesh ribbons. Living ribbon, yeah. And uh, they, I was surprised. I thought they were both dead at that moment. Right. I was like, holy shit, did they just take out uh, Mantis? I don't know why she's still in the movies, period. She could just be out, other than the fact that somebody had to hold Thanos' She's head. adorable. That's yeah. what it is. She had yeah. to, somebody had to hold Thanos' head. But, um, like, when they when they went down, I thought that was it. I was like, oh, my God, this is going to be brutal. And then they got back up. So I, I mean, like, oh. all right, well, after he got the Soul Stone and he's fighting him on Titan and he, he launched that little beam at him, I thought that was when they were dead. Because they all get three get hit. I'm like, oh, shit, he just hit him with the soul stone. What is that going to do to him? Is that going to take their powers away? Uh, you know, I wasn't sure if that was soul. Because it was blue, like... Um... It was purple. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I was thinking that it was just going to be like uh, the... He kept hitting people with a blue beam, too. Yeah. I don't know. I, I don't know. It's just He took yeah. them out. They, and when, when he hit, they hit, like when the beam hit, I distinctly remember them all just freezing up and falling. Oh, maybe maybe just fucking like life locked them for a second there. I mean, yeah, I, I didn't think they were still alive at that point. Like they got to be dead now, right? Like hey, they're fucking they dead. I mean, that's one thing. They, it's almost you wonder is Thanos maybe not that fuck off evil? Um, I mean, honestly, because he could have killed any single character with at, at any moment. Yeah, and he really didn't. Like like you said, they those three immediately dead. He fucking just ripped their souls out. They're right, gone. right. You would think so, but no. Yeah. Apparently, he didn't. Yeah, apparently I he didn't don't know. Do he could have. He at the end when he is stomping towards Vision and is flinging characters out of the way, just bashing the shit out of people. I thought he he could have fucking punched Cap's head off. And yeah. I almost thought he did. I, yeah. I heard somebody behind me go, "Oh fuck, Cap's dead." When he <laughs> he punches Cap so goddamn hard. Oh yeah, no, like like you're thinking. It's like, Body oh, parts shit. are falling off, aren't they? Yeah, I, yeah. I thought his fucking head was twisted around. Like, but no, he didn't. He didn't kill any of them. He didn't really kill anybody. By his until he killed everybody. <laughs> yeah, he didn't kill anybody. Oh, well, Loki. He killed Loki. He straight up fucking and did, was he the one that stabbed? He Heimdall? did. Yeah, he took that yeah. little spear thing from his, his Fuck child. Thanos. Just, yeah, he just he killed Heimdall and Loki, but he killed Heimdall. Mm-hmm. You asshole! You fucking asshole! How dare you! Loki, I get it. I'm going to be honest. Yeah, fuck Loki. I, I expected that 100%. Yeah, no, I mean, when you saw him in the trailer <laughs> handing the Tesseract to him, it's like, okay, Loki's going to die. I will give them credit. Um, they've done, they kept the character development. <laughs> oh, oh, fuck. It's it's they? they kept the character development from Thor Ragnarok with Loki, at least in my opinion. Some people might disagree. Um, Loki <laughs> didn't just fucking give in and like, he, he didn't just go with Thanos because Thanos was going to win. He straight up tries to fucking... Uh, first, he uh, does the whole thing with the Hulk and the Hulk, tries to get the Hulk to beat the shit out of Thanos. And then he gives him the stone, the Tesseract to save Thor. Right. And then uh, when he's, again, pulling his, you need me, I can help you out, I can be a guide bullshit, he straight up tries to fucking... Uh, uh, shank him. Yeah, he tries to shank him in the throat. Yeah, like this super quick shank, and Thanos, no, he's not having that shit. So, I mean, he really could have fucking uh, just did fucking ship, switch sides again, and I think Thanos would have killed him anyway because he's oh, not Oh, I idiot. mean, absolutely, yeah. He's not stupid, but, yeah, I mean, like, Loki not... stayed, tr- he, he, didn't fuck, he didn't fuck off. Yeah, you're not going to get over one on Thanos, even if you're the god of trickery and destruction or, or illusion or whatever. Yeah, yeah. That, he, he's, he's Deception. Fun. It was good, though, man. I, 
I actually kind of wasn't expecting Loki to die in such a brutal way. He just strangles no, him. it was way he more strangles, brutal. He strangles the fuck out of Loki. He strangles him and then just fucking snaps his neck with his thumb like a fucking chicken bone. Yeah, and just drops him. Yep. It was brutal as fuck. Oh, man. Um, back to the, the deaths now. Because mm-hmm. now we got to talk about that. Because some of those were really hard hitting. Oh man, they once Thanos fucking wins, um, and he snaps his little fingers, and half of the population of the universe starts and, dying. Yeah, and you're still thinking like, okay, well, certain characters are gonna go like this, and then fucking, I think the first one that made me go, "Are you fucking kidding me?" was T'Challa. Yeah, yeah. Because T'Challa's standing there, and then fucking turns to dust, and the entire theater well, went. Well, he yeah, he dropped down to pick up his king's guard. I can't, I still can't remember her name. Search for the no. But yeah, yeah, he dropped like, come on, this is no place for us to be dying. And then he just yeah, fades. Him, and then he fades like, right as he, he reaches her. He looks like confused for a second. And she's like, my king, and then fucking dusts. He just turns to dust, and it's like what? The whole theater was like. You fucking kidding me? Somebody I, behind us was like, "I want a refund." <laughs> yeah, I, dude, I never expected them to kill Black Panther. No, I was like, "Oh my god!" No, you can't. Black, really? You're yeah. killing Black Panther? <clears throat> yeah, and they started, and then they basically fucking montaged it where it was Black Panther, and then um, uh, I know Falcon. Yeah, Falcon. Falcon faded before they found him. They didn't even. That was fucked up. I fucking. They didn't uh, even find Falcon before. Rhodey is walking through like, "Hey, where you? Where Sam? Sam, where you at?" And, and right, right as he walks away. up, right as he gets up to where Sam is, he's gone. Just faded to like, dust. That is, that is dark. Like that is cheap, Marvel. What That's the fuck? So dark. Like the movie was dark from the get go. As soon as he yeah. snapped Loki's neck, it's like, holy shit, this is gonna yeah, oh, be yeah, dark. You know this is going places. Yeah. And then you just start seeing. Fucking uh, the Wakandans just disappearing on the battlefield. Yeah. And they're looking around like, what the hell's going on? And then it switches to um, where the rest of the Guardians and Iron Man are. Yeah, where, where they're Stark fighting, is. where they were fighting on Titan with uh, Thanos. Yeah. And all of a sudden they st- start disappearing. And somebody's like, he did it. If somebody says uh, Thanos, uh, he's taken out half of the population. As they're fading away. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, Nebula says it. Yeah. Nebula oh, says yeah, it. Oh, yeah, she didn't fade and away. That was actually at the end of it, though. It was after yeah. all that happened. Like, he, he, she was like, he did it. Because she was sitting there explaining oh, it's right. dark. Yeah. I thought they realized this happened. No. Fucking, um, yeah. And Doc Strange, man. Doc, Doc Strange. Strange. He's sitting there and looks at Tony. It was the only way. And then he fades that away. That is the most important that, thing. That, that, that right there. Yeah, like, that makes so, me think that he tainted the time stone somehow. So, well, here's the thing, is I thought that, too. Until a friend of mine pointed out that he says that to Tony right after saving Tony by giving Thanos the time stone. Right. And earlier in the movie, he had looked into the future and seen 1.7 bil- million or billion Oh, yeah, outcomes. yeah, yeah. He had seen this And he one said point, there's yeah. only one where we succeed. And later in the movie, I'm sorry, Tony, it was the only way. He saved Tony for a reason. Yeah. And I think it's going to hinge on Stark um, to save the universe, essentially. I, You know, I don't doubt it. Yeah. It was like... Of, of all the people that fought him, uh, besides Thor, he's the only one that hurt him. Uh, I wouldn't even say he hurt him. I mean, he he, he put that gash on his face. He made some blood Oh, come that's out. right. When, yeah. he, when the Thanos even fucking touches it and it's like... All that for a little bit of blood, for yep. one drop of blood. For a drop of blood. And then just fucking starts beating the shit out of Iron Man. Yeah, he, he tears that nano suit to shreds, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and that you could see where the nanites are pulling away from parts of his body to keep making uh, the yep. helmet back. And they just and can't. They making just, the blasters back. Yeah, They just can't run out. Up. Yeah, they just run out, man. It's like, god damn. But um, yeah, man, like Groot fades and fucking. Oh, my god, yeah. yeah they like, killed Groot? I, that was the other one that went on uh, on Earth. Yeah. When Groot was going and fucking Rocket's like, no, no. Yeah. Like, uh, and that, still the worst. The worst is, the worst is Spidey. Spider. Oh my God. Spider-Man fucking dies in this movie and you're looking at it like going, what? And the no! way, the way he goes out is so hard. He's the heartbreaking. only one that doesn't go out like in 10, like, like in five seconds. He's like seriously like, Mr. Stark, Mr. Stark. Mr. Stark, this, I feel bad. I, like I, feel I feel weird. weird. I feel, uh, my stomach I don't want to go. I don't want to go. I don't want to go. I was go. like, why are you doing this to and me? And he gets into Stark's arms, man, and they embrace him. There's, there's a hug. He's literally there's a fucking, fucking like hug. holding him. 
him watching and, him go. And, 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 and in Stark's arms, he just turns to Ash, and it's like, oh, my God. Holy fuck. I'm sitting there in the theater like, what? Dude, I had my eyes oh, yeah. welled up. Like, I was fucking oh, yeah. crying. I was, like, was like, why are what? you making me cry in a superhero movie again, what are you, you doing, bastards? Marvel? You why? can't do this. Why are you doing this? And, you know, I... And, the way the the look on uh, Star Lord's face when he realizes what happened is like that that was kind of heartbreaking too. Oh no, he's... when with Nebula and that whole thing. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, like like that the one scene that made me like really care about Thanos is that whole thing with Nebula and him, and him actually loving something. Well, no, that was Gamora. I'm so yeah. What I see, Gamora. I always confuse those two. Names, yeah, no. You, well, if I remember Nebula's name at all, <laughs> right? But no, um, him with Gamora and how fucking like yeah, how he had to sacrifice her for the Soul Stone. Oh and, man, and she, you know, and Red Skull was sitting there. And explaining. you see it coming. By the way, him coming back. Yeah, that fucking was cool. flashback from the past. That was great. That's a cameo, but it was awesome. Oh yeah, I was so happy. To I don't see remember him, back. him having the Soul Stone, but apparently he did. No, he never. He didn't. He explains that he says. uh I too was uh, searching for the stones. I was in possession of the. Um, he was in possession of that one, and it the cursed space. him. No, he was in possession of that one, and it cursed him. No, he, he said that specifically. Po- he said he was in possession of the uh, tesseract of the space stone, Ooh. and it rejected me and sent me uh, and sent me away, and I ended up here. Oh, okay. And I thought he said now I'm okay the, uh, to like guard what I, I must never... have. I must have misheard him because yeah. I thought he said he had that one specifically. I'm like, no, no, I remember no. him having the tesseract, but I don't remember him having. That he one. never had the soul. The soul's always been on that planet. Um, no, he mentions like I, I had one. I had the. I don't even know if he says space, but he says I had one, and the and the traveler sent me away, or it's something like that. Yeah. Okay. He he might have he might have been ambiguous with which one he had, but the way the way I interpreted it was it sounded like he said he had that one. I'm like, when did nah, he have yeah, that No, yeah, he one, was buddy? he was definitely talking about the test rack because it, and I mean specifically he said it sent him away and not that it cursed him. Right. Uh, oh no, it sent him away to be a shepherd to the one thing I wanted most of all was another stone to right. power or whatever. Or something. Right. Okay. He explains it like that, which yeah, I, I see why that was a little confusing because no, he's I mean, mentioning less, that he's like I said, less confusing is more ambiguous. Yeah. Like like it's not confusing. It was just like, like kind of how they left the ending of the movie ambiguous. They left that that was just an ambiguous explanation. It could be interpreted a billion different ways because he didn't really say specifically no he, it's it's he's pretty specific about it being the space stone well i know that but i'm talking about like what what happened to oh him yeah, completely, yeah yeah like he's not specific whether it was whatever he, why he ended up also cursed to this stone too. right because i mean yeah but yeah red skull shows up when they go to vormir to get the uh the soul stone i'm still disappointed it wasn't in wakanda that yeah, just vibranium like, is just that, that awesome that it makes plants awesome I hate that. Like, <laughs> yeah, like, like that was what I was talking with, you know, with, with one of our, you know, yeah. we were talking about how uh, I was sure the soul stone was in the middle of all all the vibranium because yeah. why else would it be that special unless it was connected to some really powerful cosmic thing? Yeah, and I mean that it, it it would have also that explained why they were at Wakanda too. Um, we right. didn't really. I didn't think about them just moving the vision. <laughs> I mean, that does make sense, though. Yeah, no, no, it's totally... And it's, like I said, it annoyed me more on a, God damn it, I was wrong. Mm-hmm. Um, it, what the, the whole story behind it, it, with the Soul Stone thing, having to have a sacrifice so that you understand its power, blah, 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 has a little cliched, but at the same time, that, like I said before with some of the other stuff, they did it really well, so I can forgive it. Uh, having the Red Skull there almost like... Sharon or whatever uh, on the on the river sticks. Yeah, that was so. That was just such a fucking awesome decision. <clears throat> I mean, yeah, he he definitely had a really cool design too. I thought. Yeah. Because he's just the skull. Looks with a, so much better than it did in. Yeah. Um, oh my god. Uh, first yes. Avenger. They 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 really have upgraded in the nine yeah. years or so since. Oh that my movie. god! It looks so much better. It didn't look like some cheap like rubber prosthetic. Yeah. Not even that. Like it looked like they And just, it didn't I will say looked, it didn't look original, bad in, in the, the original, original movie. Well in the original it looked like they glued shit to his head and they painted it all red. It was pretty much what they did. They, yeah. They did uh they did a full makeup thing, which is also why the car- the actor never wanted to come back. 
Yeah, because no. he couldn't stand the fact that he had to be in that fucking shell for like you know what, however nine hours to put the makeup on and then do the. Oh scenes my god, that's nuts, dude! Some crazy amount, and that, that's just not right. I don't blame the guy. That'd be fucking Elron, you know, no Mr. Smith. Fuck Agent anything Smith. else, whatever. Sorry. Else. Yeah. You know, uh, I don't. I don't really blame you for it. I wish you would have come back, but this was cool. Yeah, no, I completely understand. Like, yeah. I would, dude, that that would be insane. Nine hours a day or whatever. It was some crazy amount. Yeah. And then that like claustrophobic feeling of just yeah. you're completely encased. Ugh. Mm. No, I totally get it. But no, it, it totally looked cool because it was just like it was just. I a think skull. they did CGI. It, yeah, it totally yeah. was. Yeah. And it was just floating in the It was the, a skull, uh, yeah, with like a fucking hood and like right a on. reaper You're body. Skull. It was yep. so cool. It was like, yeah. That was interesting. And fucking when they explain, oh, you have to sacrifice something, I'm like, oh, no. And it and, and when it's and when he said it has to be something you love the most. Yeah. And Gamora's like, ha, now the universe is finally shitting on you. See, I thought she knew. I thought she got it. I thought yeah. she figured it out. No, I guess she never. Think. No, no. She never wanted to believe Thanos loved her, which also un- completely understandable. But I thought at that moment she was going to say, "Now you have to give up the one thing you care about," or mm-hmm. something like that. And instead, she was like, "You don't care about anything. You, You've you're never fucked. cared about you anything. can't. We win. You can't get the soul stone. <laughs> no, unfortunately, that's not how it. Works. He actually cared about her. Surprisingly. <clears throat> well, I mean, it's not surprisingly so much as like. Something I would completely have expected. I mean, I don't know. <clears throat> you okay, buddy? <laughs> yeah, that one hurt. <laughs> God damn it, look. <coughs> no, I mean, for me, it made sense. <coughs> it, it totally made sense. Out of all the <laughs> out of all the planets that he's gone to, mm-hmm. wiped out part of the population, and out of all the children he's had, because I'm sure this isn't the a total amount of the of children. Of course not. Thanos, no, no, no. She's the only one. That he cared about at all. Yeah. And like, like to the point where anytime she made a mistake, he would punish Gamora, not her, or he would punish Nebula, Nebula not Gamora. Yeah. Um, and he, like, he put them against each other. Yeah. And you see from the beginning when they, when they show the uh, flashback of him finding her at her planet and being like, come with me, child. Yeah. Like that whole thing you see, no, he legit. He, you know, immediately cared about her from the beginning. Yeah, like, yeah. It's just, that's why I, 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 I totally get why she wouldn't believe it. Yeah. And that at the same time, I'm like, you kind of have to put a little, to me, I have to put a little bit of disbelief away Yeah. to say that, oh yeah, no, I get why he would adopt this one kid, but yeah, we'll murder, you know, half the population and any others. It'll be fine. No worries. No big deal. Yeah. But it was so, it was, it was poetic and it was like. Where, I mean, the way he gave her that little uh, double knife thing, that was kind of cool. That perfectly balanced knife. Oh, I mean, yeah, yeah. That that was that scene was great. Yeah. Again, Thanos is so awesome. The flashbacks were great. Um, his scene with when he's sacrificing her. Yeah. And she doesn't get it, and Red Skull's like, she's like, yeah, he, like, he, like he's crying, and Red Skull, and like, hi, you're crying. What? what, what with Red false Skull's tears. Like, oh, no, oh no, what she said? Oh no, tears. Oh now, like. And Red Skull speaks up, the tears aren't for him. Yeah. And I was like, oh, no. Yeah, as soon as Red Skull said that, I was like, oh, he's going to sacrifice. Actually, I kind of thought right away, like, oh, when he said you needed to sacrifice, like, oh, Gamora's gone. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. As soon as they say that, it's like, oh, she's done. Yeah. Because I mean, no what else is he going to sacrifice? Yeah. He can't. He's not going to sacrifice himself. No. He, like, he, he has he, to complete his plan. Yeah. It's the only way to save the universe. And, so he will yep. give up the one thing that matters most. It was like, whoa. It's, and I'm really glad they went this route. Um, and Thanos in the comic is interesting. And the, his overwhelming love for death is really interesting too. But at the same time, this this type of story was way better than, I want to make that chick happy. Yeah. So I'm going to kill a bunch of people. It, it was definitely not that. He, he, he definitely felt like he was acting out of altruism. Oh yeah, because yeah. his planet, he tried this. He tried to tell the people on his planet this. Yeah, and they would not. They wouldn't listen. They they branded basically him, they branded him you know a heretic in a yeah, way. Yeah, I think they might have fucking kicked him out, and then they just continued to tear their planet apart by using up all of its natural resources. Yep, the now natural resources now it's are just, finite. Now it's just a fucking husk, and yep, it's completely uh, wiped out his you yeah. Know, species i guess it's all it's all gone everyone lived on this planet except for him he's a survivor yeah 
And, you know, because he suggested that, and it was planned originally just, you know, completely random, completely fair and dispassionate. No, nobody wanted to enact this plan where you eliminated half the population. Oh, yeah. So, you know, shit happened and just shit fell apart. Yeah. It's so interesting the way that Thanos was completely willing when he shows up because he's, he's, he's not in a hurry. No, no, He's not got at all. time to get this stuff. So he shows up. Uh, when he comes to get the stone from his little minion and finds out that his minion's fucking been iced or been spaced and finds Doctor Strange just chilling there. Oh, that and was, is that was like, fun. He just talking to him. Yeah. Just having a chat. It tells him the history of his planet, why he's doing this, like yep, explains yep, yep. his side and is like, give me the stone. There's no, he's not like, he didn't like walk up like, oh, fuck you, give me the thing. He's having like a conversation. He's yeah. explaining himself. Yeah, he's having. It's like, dude, this guy's one fucking whacked in the head, but so awesome. He's so great. Yeah. Like I said, they do a great job of making him seem human. Oh, yeah. yeah like yeah. He, they make him so relatable on, on a level I never thought I would. And with Doctor Strange going, uh, your minion did one thing. He brought you up against a master of uh, the magical, mystical arts. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, that was that was pretty cringy. <laughs> Just bitch slapped. That was pretty cringy. Oh, I have man. to admit. At uh, least he he was saying it because he knew he had backup. But right, still. of course. I mean, but God, dude, like <laughs> I loved that. It it was so neck beardy. <laughs> I mean, it was, but it ended up it ended up working out. But man, it was so good. I mean, everyone God. overestimates themselves against Thanos. Yeah, no, that does seem to be a theme. Like like a lot of a lot of people. I mean, obviously, until, I will say up until the end because I think everyone there knew they were just fucking done. Yeah, no, at that, he, he, I think Thor was about the only one when he came back with his axe that was like, no, I'm going to be fine. It's okay. Thor and Hulk were the only ones that even had a shot at, Dan, like, really getting at Thanos. And like I said, though, Tony and... Tony did pretty well. And yeah. those guys working together. Yeah. Like I said earlier, their that, plan... That, yeah, that whole fight was That amazing. was so fucking awesome. Dude, like, the synergy... Oh, I hate that word because it's such a corporate buzzword. Oh, but yeah. it does apply here. He throws a fucking moon at them. He fucking he throws a he moon does at Tony. Matter, at Tony, yeah. He does a bunch of matter stuff where he's transforming shit and like transforming weapons into bubbles and like blasts into like nothing. It was that was so fucking great. It was so that good, fight, yeah. Oh my god, like that was so well coordinated. That was so well done. You know your stunt <sighs> the fight men, choreography. Yeah, there's the choreography, your stunt men, your you know your CGI artists. They were yeah. all fantastic. They they <laughs> came together so beautifully. Yeah, he was showing up in a ship and just fucking wrecking into them. <laughs> Like that was, dude. That was so fun. That was like, oh, out of nowhere. That was that was one of the only only moments that like was so out. Like I knew she escaped, but I had no fucking idea that she was going to show up. Like beep beep, motherfucker. Yeah, she just crashed right into smashes him. Smashes into him. Smashes into ten him. Ten points. Yeah. Woo. <laughs> it's like Carmageddon on crack. Yeah. It's awesome. Space Carmageddon. Space again. Space. But yeah, no man. That that their coordination was so great. You know, Spidey, the the teamwork is one of the most awesome fights. Like parts of a fight that I've seen is when Doctor Strange is creating portals and Spider Man is flying through them, punching and kicking the shit out of Thanos that while was good. clipping. Yes, was so great. Whoop over here, like like that. Ah, uh, that was so awesome. Or how about uh, when Star Lord was sitting there jumping from the little? Oh you know, yeah, the they little, show that the little the trailers where he's like. Toot, 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 toot. And just shooting Thanos, yep. like dodging, uh, dodging Thanos's blast from the gauntlet, just jumping and shooting and flinging those like magnetic things. Yeah, yeah. I and mean, he's just sitting there. Uh, he throws. Oh man, that was great. They almost had him. They almost. They did, really man. almost had him. Spidey and everybody pulling on the gauntlet. They almost Fucking... had the gauntlet. They had the gauntlet off. They actually yeah. got it off. Spider Man had <laughs> it in his hands. Yep. And he's like, I almost got it. I almost got it. Sorry, hold him on. Ah, ah, ah. And like Mantis, I got it. Mantis is just mind fucking Thanos and had to open her stupid fucking mouth. And then oh Nebula God, yeah. opened her stupid fucking mouth to explain shit to Star Lord. And then Star Lord opened his stupid fucking mouth, started an started, insult. Started smashing the shit out of Thanos' face. I kind of liked that, but at no, the that same was time, good. it was not helpful. It was, it was really funny, but it was just so stupid because they had the gauntlet and that's what that's it was what's... emotional it was it was funny that he's fucking punching the shit out of Thanos and he's a dude 
Uh, but, I mean, it was really fucking emotional. It was. I mean, I completely understood because that's yeah. when he figured out you killed Gamora. Oh, no, you killed her. She's not coming back. She's, there is no there is no her anymore. Yeah. And he just starts fucking wailing on Thanos and shoots him in the face. And that wakes him up. Yeah. Thanos snaps out of whatever hypnosis that the also Mantis pissing, put him on him. You know, getting him to start talking and thinking about it yeah. pisses off Thanos even more. Yep. And then... Uh, he pulls that gauntlet back, smacks Spidey away, oh puts it God. back on, and starts doing his, his shitty thing again, man. So yeah. he's beating the shit out of everybody. Oh, yeah. At that point, the tables were fucking not in their favor. Everyone just starts getting their shit kicked in. Oh, yeah. No, everyone pretty much gets wrecked. And that that's when uh, that's when Tony has his moment where he manages to damage Thanos because he has that fight where he keeps, like, you know, jamming his uh, little kinetic things down because this is after the fact. This is where he gets the shit beat out of him. Yeah. But man, that that was cool. I mean, I love that. That was uh, that the part. I thought that it was before that that he did that. No, no, it was it was after this because okay. that's when he starts beating the shit out of Tony and tearing the nano suit apart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he keep well, Tony keeps on flinging like he flung a bunch of the nanites onto Thanos' uh, onto the Infinity Gauntlet and locked it into the ground. Yeah, he shot which a, looks um, so fucking cool. Yeah, he did all sorts of really neat yeah. shit, man. The, like I wish they had explained more of that suit. Mm-hmm. Even though it's almost too high tech at this point, that they're I, having nanites that are that fast, that amazing. I mean, like, I get it. We we we've envisioned that technology. Well, I mean, in the past. I mean, uh, Wakanda has it. Yeah, yeah, they have something similar, but to this effect, not this, not this beastly. I mean, uh, honestly, T'Challa's suit is pretty fucking. It's beastly. cool. Like, but like, Thanos, his 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 energy disruption when Thanos shows up and. T'Challa goes to punch him and hits his then energy decept, uh, eruption thing. It didn't even fucking like slow Thanos' fist down. He just fucking pop. Yeah, but Black that's, Panther that's was true. Out. But he didn't destroy Black Panther's suit. No, no, no. He didn't. It, it didn't start tearing apart. But Iron Man's was just so fucking cool. It, it, just, was, it, it was, was super fucking out there, but super awesome. I mean, I, I don't think it's out. I mean, how long is, is this set after the last Avengers movie? I though? mean, only like four or five years. I mean, that might be enough. I mean, Tony's a super genius. I, so I he mean. is. And don't get me wrong. It might as well have been nanites when it came out of a fucking watch and still, or two wristbands and still covered his entire body. But I mean, this is like, it's like reforming on the fly really fast. Yeah. It was really, really cool. Like I said, I wanted to see more of it. I wanted to like see him use it against somebody that he can actually beat the shit out of. Yeah, like any of his, any of Thanos' children, I think you would have set a chance against. But Eventually, Thanos, yeah. But the, not, the big no. guy and the psychic guy kind of, uh, they really did help hold their own. They started whacking the shit out of him. I mean, yeah. I mean, the big guy fucking almost totally won against him the first time. Yeah, it took uh, Spidey showing up and helping him out. Yeah, and then uh, <laughs> the fucking wizard dude actually managing to get away with Doc Strange. Yeah, fucking that scene. That whole where thing. The cape. Is pulling Doctor Strange's uh, like paralyzed body while the wizard dude is floating behind it, flinging shit at it <laughs> at the cape. And then when he finally gets the body, it is like whoop, 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 leaving with it as Spidey's chase. <laughs> Spidey chases him, gets fucking sucked up into the ship, and yeah. he's on the outside. Uh, 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 Mr. Stark, I'm Mr. being abducted. <laughs> <laughs> That's when he gets the Iron Spider suit. Oh fuck! The Iron Spider the Iron suit, Spider is suit so was so cool. great. The like I didn't, I don't think I saw the um, legs come out in the trailer. But when no. they first popped out in the movie, oh my god! Yeah, I the, was in like, the scene, yes! In the scene where they're sitting there and, and throwing the dude out the fucking hole, basically, that's when the, that's when they come the, out. I thought they came out one time before that as he no, was no. falling. No, that it was it was during the scene okay. where they first blast a hole open in the uh, yeah, yeah, ship yeah. to, you know, create. Where they the stop him from being sucked yeah. into vacuum. Because as he's getting as he's getting sucked out, he's holding on to something. He let's yeah, go, and that's breaks. when the legs extend out and catch him. He's like, oh yeah, <laughs> oh yeah, and then it uh, bounces him back in. Yeah, they, that was so fucking awesome. It was. Oh man, I just that yeah, this the Iron Spider suit was fucking great. Um, Tom Holland fucking his uh, line of hey do you remember that old movie Aliens <laughs> when he's gonna no. defeat the defeat the dude and it's like it's that like from, really old movie Aliens <laughs> yeah that uh, what the fuck is that what he said he said well I know he said old movie but um that was a great callback to fucking Civil War where he's like hey remember this old movie called Empire Strikes Back <laughs> and everyone's like get the fuck out of here who's this kid 
Come on, and he man. does this again, and Tony just has this like angry fucking look. <laughs> I had no, I, I didn't. I was thinking like, what the fuck did they do in Aliens? What are they gonna do? I had no fucking. I didn't realize. Oh, shoot him into space. Yeah, like, right out the airlock. Yeah, they didn't. Uh, they also like, they everybody else got. Oh, actually, all of Thanos' children kind of got done similar. Like I said, cheaty kind of ways. Like, oh yeah, yeah, like, like handed. Like, I mean, but, he, uh, one guy got blasted out into space. Yeah, but um, this the way it happened so fast, yeah. it was just like, boom, and he's gone. And they show him as an icicle floating. And fucking, uh, it could have only been better if you see Leia float back. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> She's had her hand out, but her eyes oh, are closed. Yeah. Oh, God, that was so... Oh, I hated that so yes. much. But yeah, he's in space, just like a fucking icicle floating. It's, <laughs> that was that was like, oh, okay, yeah, I get it now. I like that. Yeah, I totally get it. Yeah, but all his ch- all the children were done fucking dirty. Like the big dude, awesomely doing, dirty. Yeah, the, I love the way the big dude died. Oh yeah, how he sat there, he ripped that arm off of the Hulkbuster while um, um, Bruce is inside, and stumbling he's still, around. Hulk, come on! I know you're fucking. Uh, I know you're. Something's going on, but now would be a really great time to. Uh, save I know. The day. Yeah, he said. I know you like coming out at the last minute. Well, this is the last yeah, minute, this buddy. Is really, in the last minute, buddy. No. And he's like, he's fine. Like, I'll do it myself. I'll do it myself. It and he does. Grabs, he grabs the fucking arm that the guy ripped off, attaches it to the guy's hammer, and fires it off in the fucking <laughs> up into the sky where he could shred it by a Wakanda shield. It's Ooh, so fucking say, cool. What did he say? He, I don't remember. I, I he do know. He said something quippy, and it was, it was one of the not as good jokes, but because it was coming from uh, Bruce Bruce Banner, it really it, it fits so well in the movie. Time to blast off. It, it was so like yeah. <laughs> Time, Time to rock blast. Okay. <laughs> Fucking uh, Jimmy Neutron. No, he said something like uh, "Have a nice trip" or some some stupid like, thing <laughs> like "See you later." Like, <laughs> oh man, it was funny though. I mean, I, yeah, it was. It I, was and the totally way he Bruce died, the way thing. he died, just getting shredded by that shield I, and exploded. It, I really thought it would just kind of drag him on that for a minute. It would fall, and he would be back to fight. No, it fucking like vaporized him. Yeah, like cut like the top half of his body completely yeah, it gone. Fucking started. It was like somebody being dragged down the highway. Yeah, and, and then they're they're they're, they're they, just grinding down. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it then was exploded. So cool. And the other ones, one was fucking straight up stabbed in the goddamn back by the vision. Oh yeah. And then the chick, the chicks was by far the best. Uh, the the that fight was awesome too. Oh yeah, when, the fight between Black Widow, uh, his the Kingsguard lady, and. Yeah. Um, um, uh, Scarlet Witch. Yeah, and the and his, and Thanos' daughter, whatever the fuck her name was, I have no she idea. Fucking looked like a demon chick. She had horns and shit. It was yeah, weird. succubus. Yeah, almost. But uh, she that fight was that she was taken on all three of them, and was holding her own. Oh, just fine. Too, I think. Like. I, granted, I think if Scarlet Witch had like come in and just fucking done what she ended up doing. From the get go, she could have like instant one. Oh yeah, but yeah. and she like as a fight, yeah, she held her own against all three of them. Oh for sure. And then fucking, she's I can't remember who she's. I think she's about to like stab Black Widow, or it's one of the two. She had just yeah, beaten yeah. off both of them, and then all of a sudden she gets fucking ejected into the air and <laughs> smashed by a giant grindy. <laughs> Oh yeah, the giant grindy wheel that were just had oh more soldiers God. in them, didn't it? I don't or, think they had any soldiers. I think it was no, just a fucking like a uh, it was terror just, weapon. It was just, yeah, okay, there you go. It was just a big ass like siege type weapon. Yeah, because yeah. they straight up their their soldiers, and you see them in the trailer, are just big four armed ugly fucking aliens. They're like they're like dogs, essentially. Yeah, they yeah. were like well, I mean, even worse than dogs. They were they, they were they were like brainless. rabbit rabbit guard dog zombie things. Like oh, you, you, by yeah, they they looked fucking horrifying and they're also they are they're they meat must puppets have been mentally sure. so fucked because they like hit the shield and they're dying and they just don't stop they keep forcing their way through to the point where some force their way through to where it like burns off all their fucking skin one of them and got forced through got cut in half yeah, yeah like it was man. like holy shit these guys are fucking serious yeah oh yeah and they were disturbing as fuck but that whole oh my god the final battle's great Oh man, the the big the big uh, the yeah the big uh, 
the big clash between these fucking horrors yeah. and you know the Wakandan soldiers, the Wakandan art. That was so fucking all the cool. soldiers that are left. Yeah, and it was so much. That, that was just the, the best. intro to that battle when they're all fucking hyped to go and uh, like. Um, What's the guys from the gorilla tribe? Oh, Umbaku. Umbaku comes back and ooh, uh, ooh. and they're yeah. like, oh man, those guys are so fucking cool. You're just getting you're getting hyped with them. Yeah, like, yeah. Fuck yeah, fuck yeah, fuck yeah. So T'Challa starts that chant. Yeah, and they're fucking ready, and they know they're outnumbered like five billion to one. One basically. Oh yeah, no, they're absolutely outnumbered because there's these giant fucking ships that are landing. Oh yeah, La- and they're letting just off full. just a flood of. Uh, fucking evil four-armed creature. And they and they ended up opening up the shield because if they didn't, they would have surrounded the entirety they of the city. They would have and it wouldn't have mattered. Yeah, at that point, you're you're completely destroyed soldiers. because now your your people are in danger. Yeah, which is not cool, obviously. So they said that they open a part of the shield up, they all just flood in yeah. because, like as we mentioned before, some of them were getting through with enough yeah. force, enough. They, they, they were getting through, like, maybe... They're also really stupid because they didn't still circle around, even though there's so many, they'd have to wait to get in. Well, they opened the shield enough, though, that... Yeah. Uh, oh, they opened it pretty small. They they opened it just enough. Obviously, the flood's going to come in, but it was controlled. Yeah, Because if, if they had just opened up, like, a whole fucking quarter... Oh, my God. They'd have been immediately overrun and all Oh, absolutely, yeah. But, uh, yeah, for just opening up that part... God, yeah, awesome. it was like maybe a twenty meter part too. Like it was very Something, small. Yeah, it, it was it was way smaller than you think. And then they just flood in. Uh, and again, Wakanda, they need more long range weaponry. They do because they shoot a couple of shots, and then once the flood comes in, they're like, "Okay, charge!" Are they the fucking Imperial Guard? They affix bayonets hey, and charge guys, the fucking orc hordes. No, where, 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 sit back and shoot them. Where are your long bowmen? Yeah, Come something. On. God, they they like blasted them like six times, and they're like, oh well, that didn't work. Let's charge. All right. I um, mean, don't don't get me wrong. They're all amazing fucking hand to hand combat specialists. Absolutely, they're really fucking good at it. But you're up against you're you're outnumbered, like like is that. But they just had – the whole plan was to hold for a certain amount of time. Yeah, I mean it was and, just – it was it was basically to hold long enough to separate the Mind Stone from Vision. Yeah. I liked that whole thing. The whole time I'm thinking they're going to save Vision. They're going to get the Mind Stone out. This is going to be good because I thought Vision – Plot twist. They fucking don't. Oh, my God. I thought Vision was done in the trailer uh, yeah. when the dude's poking him with the stick. Yeah, when he's, sent, yeah, he's, when he's prying that gem out with that, I thought that, that was spare. It. Yeah, no, that was it. I th- In fact – because I only seen it twice, I actually thought that was Thanos at first, and I didn't realize it was one of his children. Instead, oh yeah, from the trailer. Yeah. yeah, but no, it doesn't happen that way. You know, he manages to get away, and they they discover that they can probably separate the Mind Stone from Vision and keep Vision because Vision's an, uh, a combination of a lot of different uh, mental uh, overlays. They said. Yeah. So they thought, hey, we can probably save him. So yeah, they just sit there and they start detaching. Um, I can't remember her name. His little sister, Tala's little sister. She starts doing her thing. Uh, yeah, I, I knew her name, and I can't think of it. Yeah, I I, I can't remember. Anymore. Yeah, she starts doing I, it. And I know you, when I really we did the, I know when we did the survive. review of Malak Panther. I knew her name. So. Yeah, but anyway, yeah, um, like, yeah. I thought he was. I thought he was going to be good to go, and then he ends up having to uh, fucking tackle the the white. Uh, dark Elf? I had dark Elf, but he was pale. Yeah, he's, he, he was a Dark Elf. He I had mean, to tackle the Dark Elf out the fucking window and start beating the shit out of him. Well, start getting the shit beat out of him as distraction. Yeah, eventually. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he didn't do too well in that because he got stabbed again. Yeah. So, but then, you know, when, uh, who was it, Cap comes up, Cap starts fighting him to, to, and tells Vision, run, Vision, run, you know, yeah. and Vision doesn't. He stabs the fucking dude and gets his revenge. He gets his revenge. It's still, it's one, it's like, again, they, they, they did a lot of stuff that was smarter, but, uh, I wanted to see, I wish Cap had just beat the fuck out of this thing. Yeah, no, like I Like, with I mean, his shield, straight up fucking murked this guy. I mean, it, it was it was disappointing that yeah. there were no fights that the Avengers had 100% control in. Or or at least had an upper hand to yeah, the point like, where, like, they, like I, thought, I thought for sure, 
Hulk was going to bust out of the Hulkbuster armor, which would have been one of the coolest visuals that we didn't get. Oh, and yeah. Hulk would go against the super strong Thanos child and maybe have a moment where he starts losing and then remembers, oh, no, wait, Hulk smash, Hulk angry, and just start fucking smashing that guy's head in. Starts wailing. Or man. we could, or I don't know if they'd ever do something, and I don't know what causes Grey Hulk, but something fucky to happen, and we get like a Grey Hulk scenario where yeah. you have a whole new personality uh, or even uh, even like Bruce in control of the Hulk where he's fighting this dude and it's Bruce doing the fighting as Hulk. Right, because, dude, that would be awesome. I, anything like that. I just wanted to see him bust out of the armor and get get redemption and get redeemed for getting his fucking head knocked in by Thanos <laughs> and beat that dude to death and then it just didn't happen. Yeah, I, oh well. You know, but the uh, fights were still great. And fights I, were great. Yeah, no. I mean, they they hold off two of Thanos's children between uh, Iron Man, Widow. Uh, who else was there? Who showed up? Uh, Falcon. Iron Man didn't show up. I'm sorry, not or, Cap. Uh, Cap. Uh, Cap. Widow. Cap. Scarlet Widow, Witch. Scarlet Witch. Well, she was already there. Uh, yeah, you Vision, had um, you had a uh, uh, Falcon. Falcon. Falcon show up. Yeah. Yeah. Falcon yeah. I mean, there. they were. They almost took out two of the children. Yeah. They I mean, would have taken out two of the children. They, they would have taken out them. one of them. They would have taken out one of them. The other one might have gotten away. But it, well, yeah. I mean, anything could have happened at that point. But they straight up tell them, "We don't want to kill you, but we will if we have to." And then the children fucking go. Yeah. Disappear. And they vanish. They say some stupid shit, but I didn't like them anyway. Uh, they said something like, "You should. You should have." Or you should take the right, chance. You, oh, you'll never get the chance again. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, you won't get a second chance or something like that. And uh, spoiler, you did. Yeah, they totally they killed totally you. Fucking, it fucking got that chick <laughs> run over by a giant death wheel. That was awesome, by the way. <laughs> just, whoop. She just, she seriously just like says fuck it and gets really mad and just flings the bitch up. <laughs> Flicks her to the makeup spy. Oh man. It was perfect timing type deal, and maybe that's yeah. why she didn't do it. But she was waiting for that. that I moment. mean, may, maybe, but it was just so fucking cool. And then they destroy the Mind Stone, kill Vision, and it doesn't fucking work because, because Thanos the time stone. has the Time Stone. He concentrates it on that one area, brings Vision back, and rips it out of his. Oh, fucking as head. it's fucking happening, and I think it's it's Cap right behind him that's watching it, and Thanos said something. He said something about like, it's all a matter of time or something like that. Before he turned the time and back. And then just yeah. fucking turns time back the same way that uh, Doc Strange does. And Vision shows back up and goes, oh, fuck. And at that moment, I was like, are you going to make me watch him die twice? That's so fucked up. That's so fucked up. But they did. They totally yeah. did. And the second time was so much worse than the first. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Thanos just fucking... Oh, he He's just so tears that brutal with it. thing out oh of his head. Gosh. It's just a hole left yeah. in his forehead. And not like a gem-sized hole, like a Thanos finger-sized hole. It's, it's so... a giant fucking chunk taken out of oh. his head. And he just tosses the body away. He says something about some fucking, you know, oh, android, blah, blah, blah. Takes the fucking stone. Pops it in there, and then he. And that's when Thor shows up, and he goes to fire the beam, and it didn't work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh man, I love Thor's new axe. That thing's so fucking cool. It's. it's I love that his handle is Groot's arm. Yeah, that was so. And when they're like, "We need a handle. We gotta find a handle," and Groot's just like, "Fuck it." He just he ices there, forms a fucking like branch around I it, a super tight, Groot. and then cuts his arm off, and throws it. I mean, Groot's... Oh, no, uh, 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 Than uh, Oh, Thor is, you, like, half dead and just starts kind of trying to summon it, and it shows up. Oh, man, that was so good. That were... Okay. Um, oh, dude, we are running prediction long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. prediction <laughs> kind of stuff. Um, I really think, like I said before, Tony's going to end up being super important to I mean, yeah, figuring no. shit out. I mean, considering he's the only one left... On yeah. that planet with Nebula, like, and it also is one of the reasons I think that everybody's coming back. That not everybody, sorry, Loki, Heimdall, they're done. Yeah, no, I, I, I don't do see them think back. maybe uh, not Vision, maybe, maybe not, maybe, maybe not. I'm not sure yet. I mean, if there was enough of his mind left, maybe. yeah. I guess, I mean, like I said, he's just a husk now, but it's also like how they, they were, were saying. Well, they mentioned that um, the stone isn't so important to his mind. Obviously, she was trying to, but the whole thing was it's so delicate that they have to take it out carefully or there were like two billion neurons yeah to, that'll so, yeah. cause a cascading failure so i would assume maybe they can re 
build it and maybe is a bit, they just uh, here's what excuse. they do they just get the eye of a Gamoto back and they just turn time back or they might do that there you go that's they, how they do they, it they well I don't think they'll turn time uh not at least Doctor Strange won't be because well yeah. he, they had, he's dead <laughs> he, he he was one of the people that fucking got dusted he got butt yeah. ashed so does Samuel L Jackson oh my God yeah the yes. after the credits scene which they killed Nick Fury and his agent um he fucking she was the one I was more like oh my God you're just gonna fucking offer like this yeah she's like sir ah oh, that was fucking brutal that was pretty and bad and then Samuel L Jackson it, when it happened to him I almost was like. Ah, I fucking, I'm not surprised, you yeah, bastards. Yeah, no, no, no. So by that time, I was like, who are you going to fucking kill next, huh? You're going to go back and kill Coulson again, even though he's only alive in the TV show? I mean, that, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that would have been the thing to make me go, no, fuck you. Fuck you, Marvel. But, uh, yeah, he pulls out the thingy and hits the button, and it falls down, and that is Captain Marvel's seal. So she's also obviously going to be super important in. Uh, oh, in absolutely! Part yeah, two. no, I, I, I totally see that. Yeah, okay. either that or she's going to be. We knew she was going to show. I up. I mean, she's going to get her own movie. That's already been announced. Well, no, she, yeah, she's getting her own movie. That'll be a prequel, right? To um, Infinity War Part Two or whatever they end up naming it. Right, which I probably will just be Infinity War Part Two since this yeah. one is just called Infinity War Part One. <laughs> yeah. Well, whatever the name is. It is a spoiler, and that's why they haven't said the name yet. Right. And the, uh, Kevin Feige even regrets that because it, the, so much attention has gone to the next movie's name. The whole point of not naming it was because they didn't want to draw too much attention to the name. Right. So it's probably going to be something like um, Captain Marvel's Avengers or New Avengers Captain Marvel. Some, I think Captain Marvel's going to be in right, the title. Right, right, yeah. Uh, and I, it'll. I, I can't fucking wait. This movie made me want more so bad. Guys, Thanos will return. Yeah, that tagline, you motherfuckers. That was cruel as shit. That was so cruel. Didn't say the Avengers will return. The Guardian will return. The Guardian of the Uh, Galaxy will return. Yeah, the only ones left is Rocket. Yeah, Rocket, all the other Guardians. Well, apparently Gamora is still alive somehow. In a way. Because uh, Mantis says at some point where he's, she's in agony, or someone says she's no, in agony. No, he's in agony. Is no, what she, she no, there is a specific mention of Gamora being in agony, too. So, I'm like, remember how he no, had. I don't think so. Remember how he had that flashback, though, um, after he used the power against Thor? Oh, the ki- when they show her as a yeah. kid, and I think. We s- think somehow she's in the Soul Stone. Oh, he, I think they might do something like that, and right. that will be how she. Would be brought back. Right. I that's not gonna be. I think how everybody else comes back, unless it's specifically the Soul Stone that breaks them, brings them back. Right. But that would be something where they'd have to go and do that. Yeah. But no, no, no. Up until like that moment, uh, where the hope is that she's in the stone. Somebody said. Somebody said she's in agony. Not. I think it was Nebula. Nebula might have said something like that. I. I don't think it was anybody who said she's in agony, or she. I mean, she might have said something about the stone. She's. She I, was I, in the soul stone. But I like, could have swore I heard somebody say she's in agony because as they're sitting there and they're talking about it, it it's, you know, Nebula is explaining things. And then that's when it gets to the end and everybody realizes, oh, he killed Nebula. Or he killed Oh, uh, you Gamora. mean when he's telling, she's telling Star-Lord. Yeah. Uh, I mean, that was at the same time when Mantis is going. Mm-hmm. He's in I agony. Swear, that's what I mean. Yeah, he's, and I could have swore I could have swore someone said she's she's in agony. Not he. I don't think so. Because the only one who could possibly know that would be Mantis through Thanos. I mean, and I do know. I mean, for we're gonna fact, go. We're gonna go see it again. So yeah. it doesn't matter. Yeah, but it, like that whole thing, her telling him he's in agony. He's uh, something horrible has happened. Blah blah blah. He's sacrificed so much, and then it's like, oh, yeah. <laughs> Star Lord realizing it. All right, we're going to go ahead and cut it off there, guys, because yeah. we've ran kind of long. Oh, well, this is a movie review. We always do. Oh, uh, absolutely, because we have so much good shit yeah. to say. And Man and the Wasp, shit. I can't wait for even more. That's going to be awesome. I really hope that they do something interesting with um, Thanos' winning, because this movie is going to take place right as Infinity Wars, like right about, maybe right before it starts. Yeah. I would think that when they mentioned oh, Bartman took house arrest along with uh, Ant-Man. Yeah. Um, Scott, I think. Yeah, yeah Scott. Yeah, yeah. I would think that at that point they would mention something about, but it didn't skip, skip, It didn't stick with Scott. Something to infer that, you know, he's he's on the lamb again. He did something. Yeah. yeah. But they didn't. So I'm thinking that 
that's going to happen around the same exact time. Yeah, and, and then, then I think the way um, Ant Man's going to end is with the people the turning to dust. Yeah, yeah. Dust I think thing. it would be super interesting if it was fucking halfway through the movie and it's like a major plot twist. Like, oh fucking, wow. what's a twist? Yeah, Some, like, I want to say I want to think I want to I want to say yes, but with how the way the trailers go now, like that would be uh, you. Ne- you never know, man. They straight up put fucking Hulk in the trailer where they're all charging through the woods as a misleading thing because Hulk's not even fucking in the movie. Hulk's in the movie Except for, for the long enough to get five his fucking beat. minutes. Oh my god! Fucking no, one dude, goes was... one round with Thanos and Thanos beats his ass. And One get, round, and he gives up. KO, and he gives up. He there's there's a moment in that fight where Thanos just tags Hulk with like a right hook, and you hear the crunch of Hulk's jaw, and you kind of see the look in Hulk's face of, uh oh, what <laughs> <laughs> row arch? Yeah, fuck, bring Hulk back, bring me back the abomination. Too. All right, guys. <laughs> we're we're gonna end it there. Yeah, so, I mean we can see this we, movie. Go see didn't. it. It's so good. And you know what? Go give us a follow, a like, uh, you know, whatever. Share, fay, give us a rating on iTunes. Yeah, yeah. You know, follow us on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, you know, all those yeah. places. We're everywhere. <laughs> We're on Tune and Radio now, so if you're listening to us through there, hey, how you doing? That's Thank you. awesome. Google has some new thing for all the Android users where you can look up a podcast by name, and it'll all, all automatically pull up a player. So I don't know if that'll work for us, but we're also on Google Play, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, we're on iTunes, of course. So give, yep. like Luke said, give us a rating on iTunes. I hope that lot. Give us a little, little, little bit of exposure. You know, even yep. if you're just trashing us, whatever. We'll, we'll hey, take it. fucking take any rating at this point. All right. So for the Ungodly Geeks, I was Joe. I was Luke. You guys have a good day. Fuck Thanos. <laughs> <laughs>